Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the euro versus US dollar. So let's get started. Taking a look at the uh, daily chart to start things off, uh, I want to focus on this uh, yellow area right here. This yellow area comes in between 1.1095 and 1.11346. The level was uh, uh, developed uh, back here uh, in the uh, month of uh, December of uh, 2021. Uh, going into the 2022, the beginning of the year. Again, this is the daily chart, so that each of these uh, dash lines, uh, 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 vertical dash lines, uh, represent uh, a month of uh, trading. So uh, the uh, price uh, traded above and below that area, uh, but uh, found either support or resistance. Uh, we had one last uh, move to the upside here that took the price up to 1.1084 before rotating to the downside, and it was uh, all the way uh, down to our low prices for 2022 uh, before we started to rebound back to the upside. Uh, and it wasn't until uh, 2023 right here and right here where the price came back up to that low of that swing area, found resistance sellers, and pushed uh, back into the downside in the uh, month uh, here of uh I guess that's uh, the month of July. The price did extend above to the upside and uh, moved up to our high for the year, 1.12740, before rotating again back to the downside. And one last look up here at the swing area before rotating all the way down. And here we are back into this uh, swing area between 1.1095 and 1.11348. As if the price were to get above that level, it would open the door for the next uh, uh, target, which would be that 1.1184 level, which is the high price going back to this day right here going uh, back of uh, March of uh, 2022 and then we start to look toward the 61.8 percent percent retracement that is of the move down from uh, this high right here the 2021 high down to the low price that we saw in, uh, in uh, September of 2022 61.8 percent uh, retracement comes in 1.1274 so what would hurt the bullish buys uh, for the euro versus US dollars we push a uh, higher uh, and uh, if you take a look at this uh, chart, this uh, high price going back to this day right here, which is an August high, uh, comes in at 1.10648. I'm going to earmark that level as a level that if the price were to get back below the 1.1095 level and then get back below 1.10648, it would increase the bearish bias. In other words, the, the uh, buyers return to sellers on the uh, resistance or the holding of resistance up here against this yellow swing area. And you can see that uh, on the hourly chart, that level also happens to correspond with the 38.2 uh, to 50 percent retracement of the uh, last move to the upside that's moved uh, took at the price from this low price just reached yesterday up to the high price right here by the way that low price yesterday where we based was re right near the 1.1008 level we, re we remember that level going back to these uh, periods right through here where the market had a swing low or swing high at 1.1008 and 1.1016 before rotating to the downside. We return back to the eight level right through here and rotate to the downside. We turn back to that swing area right through here and try to move lower. We traded above and below it on uh, Friday's trade. And again, yesterday, uh, the price uh, traded above it here and then based against the level before rotating to the upside. So this area right through here it was a nice little base that the price based uh, moved away from in trading yesterday. And we saw the uh, increased momentum in trading here today. And that uh, move today got above that 64 level, uh, 65 level that we saw in the daily chart. And now uh, with the uh, new high price reaching up to Looks like 1.1116 uh, as we continue to move higher. Uh, the uh, the 50% uh, th retracement is right near that 65 level. So it would take a move below those levels to increase the bearish bias. Closer risk, we come at that 95 level. That level was the low of the swing area off of that daily chart. So there you have it. A look at the uh, uh, technicals that are driving the euro versus US dollar. My voice is back. My cold is almost oh, gone. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your training. Bye-bye now.